Now, when conducting triage using start method, meaning we're talking about adults, which patient would be tagged as immediate? Would it be A, walking wounded, B, unresponsive patient with no pulse, C, patient breathing greater than 30 breaths per minute with a radial pulse, or D, patient with minor abrasions? Now, with start triage, we have four different colors. The patient's either going to be a green tag, a yellow tag, a red tag, or a black tag. We have walking wounded and a patient with minor abrasions. Both of these sound like obvious green tags. These are our walking wounded. We will ask to walk to a designated area, which may even be our treatment area, depending on the situation. Yellow tags are similar to our green tags. They don't meet our red criteria, but they're unable to ambulate. Maybe they have a broken leg or they have a sprained ankle, whatever the case might be. This is considered delayed. None of these answers are anybody with a yellow tag. Our next one is a red tag, and that is what they are asking us about. Don't forget to utilize something called RPM. That stands for respirations, perfusion, and mentation. I always show students the 32 can do. Are they breathing greater than 30 breaths a minute? Is their cap refill time greater than two seconds? And can they follow commands? If there's a problem with any one of these three, then this patient's going to be an immediate or red tag. So obviously, C is the best answer. Now with a black tag, our patient is deceased. In this situation, B states here that we have a patient who's unresponsive with no pulse. Don't forget, with the adults, we're gonna perform a head tilt chin lift and see if they start breathing on their own. If they do begin to breathe on their own, we would put a red tag on this patient. If they do not breathe on their own after a readjustment of the airway, we're gonna go ahead and place a black tag. Again, the answer is C.